Sometimes, even in video games, people manage to say a lot without saying anything at all. These characters remain completely silent throughout their games, yet have still somehow became hugely iconic figures. There's a few grunts and yelps along the way, sure, but no words of any real note. Characters such as Mario, once silent, have now become more talkative recently. Even though this is often just shouting the name of the game that he's currently in, it disqualifies him from this silent soiree. Likewise, characters that we never hear speak, but who talk through on-screen dialogue miss the boat here too. Sorry about that, Dragon Barns and Vault Dwellers. This list is for the characters that really do say it best when they they say nothing at all. They don't just stay silent for convenience, their silence is a part of their game. My name is Rach and these are the 10 best video game characters who never said a word. Number 10. Sparrow, Fable 2 For some players, it's hard to hear the word Fable without performing a rather unattractive grimace. Empty promises and wildly variable gameplay quality plagued the series from the beginning. Still, it remains charmingly popular, and a lot of that is down to the game's unabashed wit and utter silliness. Though combat styles varied throughout the series, the charm and humour peaked in the second entry with the unnamed hero nicknamed Sparrow. A perfect foil for the jokes of the rest of the cast, Sparrow was delightfully goofy even without words. Sparrow could still laugh, dance, scream and fart don't forget farting, all of which the townspeople for some reason found impressive. Even without words, Sparrow was a great entertainer. Number 9. Gordon Freeman, Half-Life the first of two orange box mutes, and while it's unlikely Gordon Freeman will ever get to finish his story, he's still done more than enough to solidify his legacy in the medium. Freeman's complete and utter silence throughout allowed the player to push their own personality into him. Ironically, the narrative sharpness of Half-Life opened the door for modern first-person games at the turn of the century, and Half-Life managed to be both the end of an era and the first of its kind. Freeman is whatever you want him to be, and that's one of the many, many things things which make Half-Life so iconic. Though some do see his flatness as a weak point in a game so full of life elsewhere, it's hard to imagine it being so successful with such a drastic change. With so much else going on in Half-Life, when it comes to the protagonist, less is certainly more. Number 8. Jack Bioshock. Right at the start of the game, we hear someone who may or may not be Jack chatting away on the trip to Rapture, so there's probably an argument that he doesn't maybe quite fit here. However, considering his silence in Rapture forms an important part of the plot and symbolism in a game already dripping with imagery, he is here on this list, so would you kindly forget those opening exchanges just for now? Although would you kindly has been done to death now, at the time figuring out that you were really a brainwashed murderer really was a gripping twist. It transpires throughout the game that player character Jack has been hypnotised with the trigger phrase of would you kindly. This only serves to make Jack's silence all the more important. He's not just a faceless, wordless hero for you to project yourself onto. In fact, he's little more than a drone being driven around Rapture against his will. Your thumbs may be on the joysticks, but there's a much higher power actually pulling those strings. Number 7. Claude, GTA 3 Grand Theft Auto is one of the most popular and recognisable gaming series around, and Grand Theft Auto 5 Online is basically a licence for Rockstar to print money. Recent protagonists like Nico Bellic and Trevor Phillips have overshadowed the early entries a little, but GTA 3's Claude was the first hero- hero- is hero really? The word, the first guy to really put the series on the map. The 2001 release revolutionised open world, open ended gameplay, and remains the building block for several AAA games today, paving the way for GTA 4 and 5 and establishing the series as a modern masterpiece. Rockstar have commented on Claude's silence previously and were refreshingly open about the decision. Though it was in part to aid people identifying with him, it was much more a case of it being an unnecessary job. With cinematic cutscenes, a bigger open world than they'd ever done before, and huge hugely detailed NPCs for the time, Claude's voice just wasn't a priority. Happily, it worked surprisingly well. Number 6. Chell Portal 
One of the main reasons Chell's character really works is because the villainous GLaDOS has a big enough personality for two. The silly yet incredibly dark humour of the antagonist makes the game memorable and full of life, even while Chell remains quiet. If Chell did argue back to GLaDOS as you might expect someone in these conditions to do, the game would definitely lose something. Her silence not only allows GLaDOS to dominate, but it also allows you to personally choose how you react to her. Chell is a calm and possibly brain damaged individual and it is the player that decides what she is really thinking. The second game does attempt to flesh her out a little, but again GLaDOS is the star attraction, even as a potato. Chell often gets overlooked because of this, but her introverted style is a big part of the game's success. Number 5. Greece. Greece is one of the most beautiful games ever, with the artistic background slowly filling with colour as you return more light to the world. Our protagonist is beautifully drawn, with her spindly limbs, flowing coat and evocative facial expressions. Greece is less a game than it is a piece of art with puzzles attached, and the quietly contemplative protagonist is a perfect fit for that. While her wordless singing does feature throughout, that's not too different from the various grunts issued from the other silent protagonists on this list. So she Days. Throughout the game, there's various challenges which tie into the five stages of grief that Greece is going through. Her silence played against the soft soundtrack and gorgeous artwork draw you in much more than any long drawn out monologues might have done. The almost complete lack of hints or direction leave you personally feeling with a similar sad feeling of isolation. Number 4. Doom Guy. Doom. Doom Guy, also referred to as the Doom Slayer, is pretty much the epitome of this trope. Once an everyday space marine, Doom Guy gets involved in a beef with demons on Mars after his crew is killed and ends up almost single handedly defending humanity from hell. Doom Guy certainly isn't the blank slate of Chell or Gordon Freeman, nor is his silence some artistic comment on grief as it is in Greece. Instead, we see a man who keeps his mouth shut, grits his teeth, and does what has to be done. The rugged marine is hardly a unique archetype in gaming, but several ropey heroes over the years have shown the dangers of. Of leaning on one-liners. Duke Nukem was decent in his heyday, but the revival was painfully dated. Doom's silence and focus on gunplay, however, makes it a timeless, wordless classic. Number 3. Crash Crash Bandicoot A 90s star whose stock had faded almost into obscurity, the last few years have been very kind to good old Crash Bandicoot. With both of his most recent games being remakes, Crash will need a great new original game before he's officially back. But right now, his future looks very bright indeed. A rival to the witty and talkative Spyro, Crash never said anything more than wah throughout his early days, and so it's remained in his renaissance, with the game wacky narrative weight being carried by his sister Coco and his protective mask Aku Aku. What Crash lacks in vocabulary, he makes up for in facial expressions and dance moves, as well as having some of the most entertaining death animations in all of gaming. Fair trade. Number 2. Link – The Legend of Zelda the Zelda games are some of the most iconic and enduring gaming franchises ever, led by silent hero Link. He's gone through several redesigns in his time, but through them all, he's hardly said more than a hit. The hero of Hyrule is one of the most recognizable characters around, with even the most casual of casual gamers aware of his impact on the genre. Breath of the Wild pushed all sorts of boundaries, but even so, Link remained perfectly mute. Link's been a major hitter for Nintendo for a long, long time first premiering in 1986. Although many point to Breath of the Wild as his best ever, others with clearly better opinions prefer the likes of Majora's Mask. All jokes aside, one thing's for sure though, whichever one your favourite is, it won't be for Link's sparkling conversation. Number 1. Red Pokemon Red and Blue The protagonist of Pokemon Red and Blue never says a word, not even when he crops up as one of the best bosses in all of gaming in Gold and Silver, nor as one of the most challenging NPCs in Pokemon Let's Go. However, as the lead of one of the most famous gaming franchises ever, he does more than enough without dialogue to secure his place here at the top of this list. It's become a tradition for Pokemon protagonists to be silent, although in Sun and Moon and the trailers for Sword and Shield, they're black 
frank, expressionless gaze is a little unsettling. Back in the classic pixel days of red and blue, though, red's reserved style was perfect. With so many vibrant and exciting Pokemon to focus on, the player character took a back seat to give them the spotlight. Professor Oak, your rival, and the gym leaders all had enough personality, so it was nice for Red to simply sit back and let his actions speak louder. Pokemon Red and Blue remains one of the definitive experiences in gaming, and despite his silence, Red is the perfect guide. And that's our list. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. You know the drill. Leave a comment on any protagonists we may have missed, and I look forward to reading through them. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name has been Rach. You can follow me on Twitter if you like at Don't Rach Quit, but you be sure to have an awesome day. See you later, guys.